What's up everybody? Welcome to part two of the system build and the focus. Um, everything you're gonna see in this video is just gonna be like pieces I've done throughout, you know, as I've been able to work. So it's different days, different whatever. So just overlook that. Um, it's just little pieces that I was able to grab the camera and, and film. I haven't been able to film every little detail, but um, you know, every, everything that was important, that I felt like it was really important to do, I filmed. So I'm gonna catch you up where I'm at right now and uh yeah, let's get into it so this is where we're at right now pretty far along <laughs> compared to what, what what i've filmed so far basically what what's done now the entire outside of the box has been uh body filled sanded ready for paint the entire the whole outside is ready for paint um at this point the entire inside of the box as well as the bottom of the baffle is now coated in resin. So all, all the marks you see is just wood glue where I've smeared it with my fingers or whatever, but everything in here is, is, is I mean, glass. So I'm gonna probably put another coat on the inside of the box and another coat here. Um, I've got a couple areas like right here. You hear it's pretty rough. So that, that piece, I'm, I'm just gonna pretty much use, I've got, um, you know, pro I mean, probably more than a half, half of that gallon left, um, and I'll just, you know, pretty much douse it. But another piece, I, I'm not really sure at the moment whether I'm going to coat this in resin, coat the port in resin, or if I'm going to paint it along with our uh, wooden dowel bracing that will go between the baffle and the bottom of the box. That will definitely get coated in resin. The pour, um, I'm kind of undecided at the moment, but I feel like it might. I, I, I'll probably end up doing the outside of the port. So, the, I mean, this will be the inside of the port when it slides in. So, as it's in there, it's nice and strong and smooth, just like the, in, the rest of the inside of the box. So, what I'm going to do right now is flip the box up straight up like it's going to sit. Uh, I'll go ahead and lay the baffle up on top, get a sub dropped in it. And I'm gonna start kind of plotting out the height of my port um, because I don't want the port to come in contact with the, the bottom of the basket. I've also I'm thinking about you know future if I want to upgrade to uh, uh, beefier ten or tens um, with a, with a bigger motor magnet whatever. Uh, I don't want that to to factor in with the port. So just thinking ahead. Kind of am for the blue pipe. All right, so basically what you're looking at here, I don't know if you can tell, I've got a line drew right here where the fork's gonna be at. Um, I can put this, you know, at, at any height on this side of the box. Like I said, my worry, I, ideally, I want it centered. But with the motor hanging down, I don't want it to ever come in contact with the top of the port because the port's going to be, uh, I think it's 23 inches, is, has, it has it tuned at uh, 28 hertz. So it's already cut to 28 inches. It's going to be 28 inches deep. So you're going to have at least four subs that are going to be close to it. So basically what I need to decide is where I want to put it here. If I want to put it centered like it is, like I've got it drawn out, or if I want to move it down, just in case I decide to upgrade subs later on and use the same enclosure. Um, so just some things to think about. Here's one of the SDR tins that we're going to be using. So this is what we're going to go with. Uh, I just gave it about. Um, this mark here is the bottom of the sub when it's laid on the baffle. So it'll end up having about two and a half inches of uh, room here. So without looking completely out of place, moving it completely down, um, that looks pretty good to me. So, All right, guys. Well, I keep working and not filming exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go over what I've done so far. At this point, I have fiberglassed over top of all the 45s in every corner just to seal this up and create a little more strength there. 
I have now cut the hole out for the port. So whether that's that's the way I want it to be or not, that's the way it is. So I'm um, getting ready to start working on sanding this end, getting it to where that, that port slides in really good. Uh, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and body work all these screw holes and body fill all these. Get this thing smoothed up, coated in resin so that it can slide through and be permanent. I also need to go ahead and get my face cut out and built uh, to go around and attach to the box. I'm basically just gonna create a border, a face, that will screw to the actual port here and then right above it will be a set of holes in the box okay with probably a t-nut on the back side that way i can take them in and out as much as i want and i can build ports and there's the, the, the tuning will be unlimited so drill holes here t-nuts on the back side and then just bolts maybe allen headed or whatever bolts so to be quick and easy, I can snatch them out, rip the port out, throw another one in or whatever I want to do, it's, it's interchangeable. And it's also secure. So um, I've also cut out my two wooden dowels for the center bracing that will be after the port, be one here and one like there. At this point, I've cut out the hole like I should do in the last clip, but I went through and like put the port in and out and got this shaped up because it wasn't completely perfect but now the port slides in and out you know tight but easy you know without an issue uh, what I just did used some scrap and I cut out a piece that is going to give me a two inch border all the way around the port I went to the hardware store not like Lowe's but an actual like good hardware store and this ended up actually being quite a bit less than i would have paid going to lowe's uh, i got handhead allen key uh 10 so basically 3 16 bolts with t-nuts and fender washers 12 of them so i'll do four four two and two and that'll uh be the bolts that actually bolt the port to the box so i'll just drill holes through here uh put the t-nuts on the back side and then the bolts will go through i got three inch long bolts because double layered here so you got three you got an inch and a half there three quarters of an inch on the uh the border so then the port can come in and out So now I've got face is now glued and screwed to the port with the rounded edges. Holes are drilled for the mounting hardware to mount the port to the box. Just finished up, drilled all the screw holes or bolt holes to bolt it to the box. And on the back side, pulled in T nuts all the way around. Got the port all finished up. All the holes are body filled, rounded over on the inside of the port here, outside of the port here, and then on the opposite side. Here as well. So, rounded over on the inside here, all the way around. Uh, getting ready to I've already pilot drilled holes these are dead in the center 
I can only fit two. I'll do one in between these subs, one in between here, because this line right here marks the end of the port. So when the port slid all the way in and secured, this is where it'll sit. So I, I really, I mean, I could put one here, but I mean, it's right next to that one. So I mean, uh, the brazing's probably not even needed, but I'm just doing it anyways. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing here. see this or not but there's a circle here and a circle here so basically what I, what I just showed you uh, where the braces sat on the bottom of the box I just took a sharpie and just you know drew around them. it had to be perfect because all I wanted to know is where those sit at so that I can go you know eyeball center pilot drill a hole through the bottom and then I can put the baffle on come in from the bottom of the box and drill straight in and I should hit you know obviously the brakes alright guys it's the next morning uh, it's like 9 30 a.m. It's a rainy week, so I got pretty much this entire week to finish up the build. Um, so it's kind of, these will just be day after day after day. I got, the baffle is permanently secured, glued and screwed. Port is ready to be painted. Um, goal for today is gonna be to go around the baffle and sand it, get it body worked. If I have to add any filler anywhere, I will. Uh, another trip to Lowe's. Starting to do some of the painting. I've, I've painted the, or uh, primed the face of the port and put a coat on the inside. Um, I got some actual mixing cups so I can start thinning out the black when I go to paint it. And I've just got this old uh, screw, screw bolt bin, whatever, uh, full of paint thinner so I can clean my brushes and stuff. I've uh, just been painting out of a plastic bag. Got some paper, some uh, paper so I can tape up uh, all the resin areas. And also I started taping off on the inside of here, on the where the subs go. Uh, just taped around the rings and then I'll go on the underside and tape, um, you know, paper. So from the inside, that way all the resin that's on the inside, none of that will get paint on it. Alright, so I'm going to do a little bit of explaining while I'm finishing up uh, painting on the port right here. Um, basically, I got to the point where I just continued working and not filming. Um, so I ended up finishing the entire project and I've already moved on, believe it or not. Um, so I'm just going to input some pictures that I, I took while I was finishing the build uh, and kind of explain what they are and where it's at now. Um, so here we got the port that got painted up. Test fit the enclosure into the car before paint. Um, it, it fit really well as it should. I mean, I measured it all out. Um, at this point, I had already <coughs> created the false floor and mounted everything the way I wanted it. Um, there's a look inside the box after it was all done before paint. And then that was in the painting process. It was all masked up, ready for primer. Ended up spraying a lot of it with a Harbor Freight uh, gravity-fed gun and then kind of blended in with some more just brush deals. Uh, here's in the wiring process. Ran the two cabs. 
paint it up. Come out pretty good. And then there is in the car. It, uh, it turned out pretty good. I had custom stickers made for it, the designs I wanted. Um, it definitely did very good for a no-wall. <laughs> I, was, I was pretty impressed. And then here coming up is the alternators. That was Brand X 390.